In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the ultimate in game-breaking area of effect damage in WoW with my enormous pulsating pole. You're really something special. So here's a quick story to illustrate just how devastating the burst damage technique I'm about to show you is. I queued into Ashran late in a battle with a horde on the ropes and I managed to jump on the bridge to their fortress and destroy almost everything standing in my way. There were 10 killing blows recorded in the following five second sequence. You can count the corpses behind me there. Nothing could stand against me. I was unstoppable, invincible, a god. Not a proper god, obviously, but, you know, one of those minor deities you get in a polytheist religion, the god of sandpaper or something. I charged into Warspear Fortress, ready to decimate the Horde boss Volrath, and at that precise second, the Horde managed to kill the Alliance boss at the other end of the battleground. Oh, well, that ruined my pathetic moment of narcissistic egotism. So the Fury Warrior has a number of amazing area of effect damage abilities which when combined create the strongest AoE burst damage in WoW by some distance. You see you've got four, yes, four incredible AoE burst abilities. Thunderous Roar, Odin's Fury, Spear of Bastion and Ravager. Spear of Bastion has incredible utility but its damage is slightly inferior to the other three options, so we are going to focus on the other three in this video. Now, when you put all these abilities together with the stupidly overpowered talent Death Wish, you create a maelstrom of random bloody chaos that surpasses even Bobby Kotick's management style. Death Wish is this weird ability where you essentially punch yourself in the face to attain more power. It stacks up to a whopping 50% extra damage. So what we do is this. One, first we stack Death Wish up to five. Two, we cast Ravager on a dense mass of enemy players. This gives us an increasing strength bonus for six seconds. Three, we then use Heroic Leap to jump into the mass of enemy players. Four, activate this burst macro, which will simultaneously use your cooldowns and consumables. Five, now use this cast sequence macro, which will activate Avatar, which will also cast Odin's Fury when talented, Thunderous Roar, then Odin's Fury. And six, die. It is clear Blizzard, with their focus on Arena, just never anticipated how devastating these abilities are when all put together. By the way, if you want to know more about secret powerful techniques to get an edge at Warcraft, my Patreon has some amazing damage, gold making and leveling exploits that I just can't talk about on YouTube. So you may wish to consider signing up to access that information. Now, this isn't actually an exploit as such, though, as I'll explain shortly, there is a game-breaking exploit to do with a consumable potion in world PvP that is just insane. Incredibly, relatively few warriors actually seem aware of how powerful this AoE combo is. They are usually right at the bottom of the damage tree in epic battlegrounds, and often complain about how epics are stacked against them. It requires a small amount of patience to do this, but not that much. There's a minute or so between burst windows, where you should be stacking up Death Wish and trying to get in the right position. You can do top damage and get top killing blows with this method quite easily. And this is actually meaningful damage. I can do huge damage on my Fire Mage, for example, but it is rarely as visceral and impactful as that of a Fury Warrior. After a successful burst attack, you often seem to actually change the game, stopping the enemy's advance or forcing them into retreat. Now, this is for instance battlegrounds. World PvP is, incredibly, 
even more broken for the Fury Warrior. That's mainly because of the item Militia here sells. The most powerful and broken item here is the Gritty Stone Potion. This briefly increases your armor by 300%. I doubt Blizzard thought this one through properly. You see, warriors have a talent called Armored to the Teeth, which gives them a 10% strength bonus based on their current armor. Naturally, 10% of 300% is 30%, which is a truly insane additional amount of strength. Melisha also sells two other overpowered consumables, the wonderfully named Prismatic Snail Mucus, which increases your critical strike chance by an absurd 50%, and Volatile Crimson Embers, which increase your damage by 25% in exchange for a small amount of self-damage. All of these incredible consumables can be used at the same time. They don't share a cooldown. Work them into a macro and wackiness ensues. Look what happens when you test them on this PvP dummy which has 900k health. Rather more than an average player. And you can test this in duels for fun. Now you can use this to one shot people, but remember the Fury Warrior can do multi-target damage. Any player in the same vicinity will be suffering the same damage. Now these consumables by themselves are quite strong enough to cause major havoc, but there's a number of other things you can do which will truly twink out your Fury Warrior to quite a staggering extent. I haven't really pushed the limit with all these items. Most of the footage in this video was with less than best in slot gear, only stacking a few consumables. So I'm not really sure what the full potential actually is. I'd be really interested in seeing what those of you who main Fury can come up with. Here's some suggestions. Number one, use battleground specific flags like Rin's Vanguard Battle Standard in Ashran or the Vojin Spear equivalent for Horde. This gives you a 15% damage bonus for two minutes. The Songflower consumable you can pick up in Ashran also gives you a 15% damage bonus for a longer duration. Two, for world PvP, pick up armor bonuses. The best one of these is a 30% armor increase from the Legion starting intro quest. A 10% bonus can be picked up in Alterac Valley for turning in armor scraps. Remember, this increases your warrior's strength. This can be taken anywhere. Three, there is an item called Jaradin's Panata, which when destroyed has a chance to give you a 30% damage buff the same as the Battleground Berserker buff. You can pick these up on the auction house. Here's a really powerful trick I've stuck in at the end to reward those of you who watch the whole video. Bizarrely, Fury Warriors benefit from abandoning one of their iconic two-handed weapons in exchange for a shield using the burst macros in World PvP. The reason for this is that the Gritty Stone Potion gains you so much strength from the extra armor the shield gives you.